Hi, my name is Jason Palidwar and I'm an account manager at Aridian Spectral Technologies here at booth 507 at Photonics West in San Francisco. The old management adage that you cannot manage what you cannot measure applies not only to corporations and industry, but also to our planet. Earth-based remote uh, sensing systems allow for measurement of natural phenomena, such as uh, uh, forest fires or lightning monitoring, as well as uh, human interventions, such as pollution, uh, deforestation and vegetation, or ship tracking. Optical filters play an important element uh, providing wavelength selection in these Earth observation systems, but there are specific challenges to working in space. One of the challenges is to produce a lot of content in as small and lightweight a package as possible. And we've addressed this by creating arrays of filters, either through a butcher block of individually coded filter bands that are cut up and then assembled together into an array, or using photolithographic processes to pattern an array. In contrast to this, uh, applications such as lightning uh, sensing that I mentioned earlier require acquisition of as much light as possible over a large area with a very specific and narrow uh, center wavelength. To do this, we need to produce very uniform coatings over as large as five to six inches with a very specific center wavelength. So this is a, a completely different challenge for another space-based application. Both of these applications share the same challenge, which is the need to work off Earth. Uh, one of these challenges can be large temperature extremes, where a filter may sometimes be facing the sun at parts of its use and in complete darkness at other parts. Additionally, uh, there's a challenge associated with space radiation. Without the protection of the blanket of the Earth's atmosphere, we need to select materials both for our coating and for our assembly processes that provides long reliability and durability and doesn't degrade over time. These are a few of the challenges we've seen with Earth observation applications and the filters used in them. Um, but we're happy to learn about new opportunities and, uh, and challenges for these uh, extraterrestrial uh, devices. Also, we're happy to take the learnings from this, large, highly uniform filters, or multi-spectral filter arrays, and uh, apply them to terrestrial applications. Come on by booth number 507 here at Photonic West, and we'll be happy to hear about what you have in mind. Thanks.